All right, guys. This is my N two man at two man E three electric screwdriver. Uh, it's dead. It's not dead. We still have two to five battery bars, but it stopped working. The buttons did. Pushing the buttons. Nothing's happening. They were kind of sketchy from the start, so I talked to Banggood and they refunded me twenty bucks. So I was like, whatever, that's fine, I guess. So now that. I don't know, now that I got refunded partially, I'm just going to take it apart and we'll uh, see what we can see. Maybe we can fix it, and if not, we can at least look at the internals. So, I've kind of poked around a little bit before. Um, first thing you do is unscrew this uh, ring, I guess. You can see this is the chuck part. It slides out, it goes in these grooves. It's actually a two piece part, you'll see. So this comes out, leave that here. This is the one way clutch mechanism. Once again, I'll link a video explaining it better, but so yeah, this piece rotates, this piece stays solid. Um, this is the corresponding See if we can get that to focus. This is the corresponding part. Um, this is the the D shaft is out of the gearbox, which you'll see in a sec. Um, but this part, these three ears fit in between. They're not in between, I guess. Well, it goes like that. The ears push on the rollers when the motor's turning, which enables it to free spin like that so anyways this is the little gearbox it's all metal it feels solid whatever machined so this is the I don't know, output part let's see if I can so this just comes off it's not it's just held on by friction and the mechanics of it. And then if you pull on the shaft, here is the, this is the motor, contacts on the back. This is the motor and I'm assuming this will be the gearbox portion. Well, I, I know it's gearbox portion. I'm not sure if I'll take that apart. Maybe, maybe later. Um, yeah, I guess I could test the motor to see if the motor's good. I think it is, but I'll test it maybe. Anyways, motor. So I don't know if you can see in there. You kind of can. This is the button. No, the buttons are there. See, that's the buttons. It goes down, you can see the two little spring-loaded plungers, I guess, right there. That pushes up against these, turns the motors. Uh, and the top, let's see, you can kind of see better there. In the top, it looks like the battery, and the bottom is the control board, which makes sense because that's where the screen is. So I'm not quite sure how to get that stuff out. Uh, so maybe I'll cut here and investigate further. All right, so we made some progress. Uh, you can just pull the button or the selector, I guess, right off the back. It's just got a hole and then this little plastic adapter for the D slot on this switch thing. Switch that works. Uh, and then it looks like this is screwed in, so I'm going to try and get that out, and we'll see what it looks like in there. So this just screws out. Yeah, it's all it's all um, machined quite nicely. All the threads are nice, everything fits together nice, there's no sharp edges. So far I'm impressed. Except for, you know, my buttons died. So I bet we can just pull the rest of this out now. So here's the body, it's just a one piece. I think it's all one, I think this is all one piece machined. 
the screen is epoxied in or glued in or something. And here is the rest of the unit. Just kind of checking her out here. Um, so here's the battery at two man. So they make, well, they make their own. 3.7, so it's a single cell, 850 milliamp hours, which is quite good. 8C, uh, which is decent enough. I'll do the calculations. If you don't know, the C rating is just the, um, like how much current it can draw, and it's a factor of the size. So I'll, I'll overlay the calculation, but guaranteed it's more than enough for this little motor. <coughs> micro USB slot um, so let's so this is the little thing for the motor yeah these are spring-loaded contacts so they push up against the motor and help I don't know absorb a bit of vibration I guess um this is the battery I don't know much about electronics, but maybe I should take a picture and send it to somebody smarter and see what they think. Uh, nothing looks fried. Okay, so more investigation. This little cap, or where did I put that? This little cap pops off, and there's two little micro switches here. And if you see here, there's three contacts. I'm assuming that's like positive ground positive because the ed the outside ones run to one side of the switch and then it goes to the back and it's just a common negative in the middle so I just remembered another thing here I can't get my stupid camera to focus but these arrows blink when I had the things turning so I'm gonna jump these switches and we s let's see if we can get these to blink and another thing I failed to mention is I tested, I just took a single battery and powered my motor and it works fine. So the motor is fine, which is good. So now we're going to just jump these and see if we can get the arrows. Obviously the motor won't spin because it's not attached, but. Okay, so I jumped the buttons, and we are not getting any movement here. So, not quite sure. I was really hoping that would be it. Um, I, I guess I can test one more thing. I'll see if there's actually voltage at the buttons. I mean, I guess we can test. Oh no, the bat battery's fine. The battery's fine. Yeah, there is. That's strange. There is voltage. Three volts. Um, this will probably say negative three. No, it doesn't. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, so I was right. The center is grounded. Uh, each direction is one side. So, since can jump that and nothing happens not quite sure what to do next well maybe I'll see if I can send it off to somebody smarter than me and they can look at the circuit board